<laughs> Toma, wait! Jeez, don't yell from so far. Your back and your backpack's still open. Huh? Oh. So, what is it? I just happened to see you, Toma. I see. So you saw me and decided to let you know my name as loud as you could. You didn't think you'd bother. Uh, you'd bother me at all. What? Why? <laughs> Why indeed? But I really like you, Toma. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. I'm serious. We can get married when we get older. And what about Shin? Okay, then Shin will be our child. We're not playing house. Toma! What is it? Why are you here? Um, I decided to try applying for this university next year. Really? I'll be an upperclassman, so please take care of underclassman, so please take care of me. You can show me around and stuff. Well, not unless you pass the exam. I'll study. I'll take care of you, even if you don't pa even if you don't pass. It's always been my job to look after you long before today. Oh, and it's not just you that includes Shim too. Could you stop treating me that way? What? Are you unhappy? I'm not unhappy, but no, I really am unhappy. I'm not your younger sister, Toma. I know that, but you might as well be. And if you weren't, it'd be weird for us to meet up frequently like this. Is it pretty weird? Yeah, probably end up getting punched by your boyfriend, although you still don't seem to have one. Is that all you wanted? Sorry, but I gotta go uh, get going to my club and work later. Huh? I've gotten pretty busy since I started living on my own, and there's always reports to write. Anyway, I'll see you later. A fan club? Please join with me. It's my life gr life's greatest wish. You used your life's wish the other day when you wanted to switch shifts with me. I didn't say it wasn't the only wish I'd have the rest of my entire life. Yeah, yeah, but why? It's Iki's fan club, right? You can just join by yourself. It would be hard to go to Suchi University myself since I'm a high school student. Rika gave me the e evil eye earlier and said she didn't think she could allow a high school student to join by herself. That's why I'm begging. You can just join as my guardian. Mmm, I don't mind. Really? That's pretty generous of you. I like someone else, but if that's all you're asking for... Of course! Yay! I can become a member now! Hmm. So you like Toma then? No wonder you didn't fall for me. You must be seriously in love. I don't know if I'm in love. I've had this feeling for Toma ever since we were little kids. It's like a part of me. It's very important. Heh, <laughs> he's a pretty lucky guy. That might be the first time I've ever been jealous of another man. Regardless, winning him over will be pretty difficult. He might look well-mannered, but he's actually hard to deal with, right? I think so. That must be tough. I could give you advice if you want. Giving love advice sounds like it could be fun. Sorry, I guess this isn't the moment to be amused, but I'll do everything I can to help. Although the members of the fan club might have complaints if I do so. Then, maybe it would be okay to talk in places without people around, like here? I wouldn't want Toma to misunderstand either. He sure say some cute things, but it would be better to have, uh, maybe it would be better to have misunderstandings like that. Maybe? Maybe you shouldn't distance yourself too. It's possible that he's just y y you should distance yourself too. It's possible that he's just too used to seeing you every day. Even if Toma has romantic feelings for you, uh, if you've been joined at the hip all this all these years, it would be hard for him to show it. Is that really how it works? Yeah, it is. Men are creatures with a lot of ulterior mo ulterior motives. He probably thinks he would be disliked if he showed his true nature to you. 
and the closer you are to someone, the scarier that becomes. I wouldn't dislike Toma no matter what he did. Then, first you need to let Toma know that. Unlike Toma, that hasn't changed ever. Since the days we would walk down this path holding hands. No, it has changed a little. The like I felt for him when we were kids changed to love before I knew it. It's been three months since I stopped seeing Toma. Tomorrow, I'll... I see. So on that day you wanted to meet Toma at the place and confess to him. That's why we were drawn down by those feelings. Hurry on. Congratulations! You've reclaimed all your memories. The lost pieces have been recovered. It's time for us to part ways. Wait, Orion, I... Don't worry, you won't be lonely even without me around. Besides, you'll forget me, and also... There's a certain idiot standing over there completely dumbfounded. What? Seriously, he put you through a lot of hard times. But it seems like he's regretting it after learning everything, and you still have feelings for him. That's why I'll forgive him, although I'm kind of annoyed having to leave you to him. But, I think that the only person who can really make you happy is Toma. Orion. Farewell, Shiori. You're disappearing! Thank you so much, Orion. I... I... Yeah. I know. Be happy. Thank you. Toma. I'm sorry. I made a huge mistake. Toma. I thought... I thought you liked Iggy. But on that day you collapsed. When I went to pick up your stuff in your room, I found out you were being harassed. I got scared. Your life was in danger, and I was afraid I would lose you forever. I thought I needed to hide the truth and find a way to separate you from Iki. I'd made up my mind. I didn't care if I had to deceive you or be hated uh, by you once you discovered the truth. But that wasn't the case. In the end, I couldn't actually see the real you. I'm sorry. I really am sorry. I know this isn't something that can be forgiven with an apology, but let me apologize at least. Also. I know it's too late now, but I need to say it. Shiori, I love you. I haven't thought of you as a younger sister for a long time now. I couldn't. But I didn't want you to dislike me, so I held back for so long. I wanted to touch you and hold you, but I, but I didn't know if I'd ever be able to see you again if I did. I was scared. I really do love you. I've known you ever since we were little kids, and you've been by my side all these years until now. I don't want to lose you. This is the one thing I can't give up to Shin. I can't let any other man have you. I've always been in love with you. Toma. I love you too, Toma. I do want you to hold me and touch me, that's why. Hold on a moment, not like this. Put this on. I'm finally able... I'm finally able to hold you like this. With that, the unrequited feelings we've been holding back for 19 years were finally free. So, you're admitting that the data here is all true, Rika? I'm very sorry. The fan club... We... We were responsible for everything. 
Not that you could get out of it even if you wanted to. The photo clearly shows that girl putting an object into the mailbox. I'm surprised you didn't get tired of doing this every day. I'm very sorry. So you also cut her hair and dropped the flower pot on her. And shoved her at the railroad crossing. That was... Was what? No, it's nothing. I didn't order that, but we were all out of control. Um, I'm sorry. We went too far. We really are very sorry. I can't even explain why it went this far. It's true I didn't want Shiori getting any closer to Ikki, but the bullying got worse over time. I wanted to stop it, but it was past the point of being stopped. It was like the devil himself was fulfilling my wish. To be quite honest, I was scared myself. But it was all because Iki only paid attention to her! So what? <laughs> you intend to eliminate every person who gets near me, or are you just so blind that you can't tell the difference between romance and friendship? I hate that. I'm starting to lose faith in humanity. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. <laughs> and? Was the speeding motorcycle and the suspicious man part of this too? What? What mo- What motorcycle? And what suspicious man? As you can see, our members are all girls. We have no men here. He wasn't someone you knew? It's possible, I suppose, but I don't know anything about this. Hmm, so the motorcycle might just have been a hit and run. We should probably report them to the police along with that man. One more thing, you were involved in the vet website, right? You knew about that? Why would you think I didn't? I had a huge you had a huge field day spreading frames flames to all of those places. What do you mean field day? Do you mean that this was a big thing on the internet? They spread fake rumors about Shiori online and got help from all sorts of people in bullying her. They said things like Shiori was a shoplifter, that she stole someone's boyfriend, causing a girl to commit suicide. Thanks to that, people who don't know the truth are spreading rumors about Shiori. She's under 24 hour surveillance by these creeps and you never know when one of them might try something stupid. Just think, Icky, it's very possible that someone is watching her right now, taking pictures. What? And within an hour, it'll probably be uploaded to the internet along with another mal uh, mal mal uh, poisonous article. Recap, what is the meaning of this? Um, I'm sorry. You think that this can be fixed with an apology? Sure, it might be fine for you to just apologize. You'll probably feel better if you admit your wrongdoings and we forgive you. I'm sure you're feeling a touch guilty after the harassment, but it's different for her. It wouldn't have been a surprise if Shiori had died and her personal information stayed on the internet. Even if you girls, up girls apologize and say you won't bully her anymore, the harassment has a, has a life of its own now. This is a real problem. Even now, Shiori is getting weird messages. And it wouldn't be a surprise if some idiot tries to believe, who believes the rumors and lie tried to hurt her. This is all because of what you've done. You think it will be all, all okay if you apologize? That's... Um... If this doesn't settle down soon, we haven't ruled out going to the police. You'd better be prepared. But before that, there's something I want you to do. What would that be? I want you to go admit and, uh, what you've done and go apologize online, explaining that the rumors are completely false. Ideally, you would disclose your own personal info for this, but that would be too much, and I won't ask you to do that. However, one of uh, you needs to use your contact information. It doesn't matter which one of you, uh, but leave your phone number and email address. When you get calls and messages asking uh, questions or people harassing you, man up and deal with it. I don't know if this will help put out the fire, but you don't you think that's the least you can do? I got it. I'll take responsibility for this and see that they do it. 
Also, I know there isn't much point in apologizing, but please let me. I'm really sorry about this, Shiori. Those people on the internet just got caught up in the latest idiotic craze. It'll die down quickly when, uh, uh, when enough of them get tired of it. I think it'll be over within a month if these girls explain the truth. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me, very charming. Toma, you were gathering evidence all this time? Yeah, I was gathering evidence. I'm not pro it, it's so it's not very much. First we should ask Sawa and Mine if they know anything. Next, we'll need to follow the trail of the rumors to the sources and put a hidden camera near the mailbox. Oh, and of course we'll have to get permission from the building before installing the camera. After that, we should check each of your messages you've received on your cell phone. Messages on my cell phone? Oh, you haven't seen them. I actually got the cell phone before you were using it. When you collapsed, you dropped your old cell phone and I picked it up. You kept receiving messages the entire time, even while you were in the hospital. I didn't even need to open the phone to see the titles displayed in the window. They seemed to... or say things like die or go to hell a lot of them were really harsh i'm sorry but i did read through them that's how i found out you were being harassed so that's the reason you said it was broken and got me a new one i wanted to hold on to that phone to keep the messages as evidence so i got you a new one i also sent i said it to block uh, messages from everyone who wasn't a friend i'm sorry for doing that without asking but i didn't want you to be scared so, when you lied to me and said uh, you were my boyfriend, it was because you wanted to separate me from Miki. It seemed you had forgotten about a lot of things, and I figured it was just a matter of enduring a short period of time. I wanted to separate you from Iki and get all the harassment to end during that time. Then, I planned to return you to Iki. Even now? No way, I can't do that now. At first, I really only meant to pretend to be your boyfriend. But you trusted me so honestly and depended on my help. I was happy to think that I was the only person you saw, although I also felt really guilty. Idiot. Yeah, I really am an idiot. That's not, that's not what I mean. I only ever looked at you that way. Always. Until now, Toma. I like you, and I tried to show you so many times, but you were the one who never realized it. I'm sorry. Yeah, that was my fault. But what do you mean showing me? Well, I gave you chocolate on Valentine's Day. But you gave the same thing to Shen, too. I gave you birthday presents. Oh, yeah, like that hand-knitted belly warmer. Ugh, the beige one. I thought it was a joke gift. It was a scarf, and I got it in- After I got into college, I tried dressing more stylishly, asking you out on dates. You mean like the time you threatened, say, threatened me, saying if I didn't go to see a gory film, you'd force Shin to go with you. You know Shin doesn't like blood. I thought that was pretty mean. I didn't really say I would force him. That's what you- If that's what you meant by trying to show me, you're not very good at this. I'm sorry I'm not good at it, but I tried really hard. You don't need to try hard. It would have been more than enough if you just acted normally. You know, Shiori. Are you really okay with me? I did some terrible things to you. Hey, Toma. Let's take a walk together. There's somewhere I want to go. <laughs> where would that be? Don't tell me it's my place. No. This path is where I wanted to go. Um... Toma, do you remember the promise we made on this path when we were kids? Of course, I couldn't forget. I found you crying here, then... I promised you that I would do... Uh, that I would protect you from anything scary from then on. Yeah. Toma, thank you for keeping your promise. You protected me from scary things. Not really. To actually keep my promise uh, with what I did back then. 
Sure you did. I mean, I felt happy. Happy that you were standing by me all the time, Soma. It might be weird for me to say this, but I'm not a great guy. I'm selfish and cowardly and egoistical. I might look good, but that's it. I'm sorry, I just paused and for an awkward second there going, Oh, so you know you look good. <laughs> well, I guess that's the whole egoistical part. What exactly do you like about me? That you're like an older brother. That's pretty inconsistent with your declaration that you didn't want to be treated like a younger sister. I know I said that, but it's the truth. I feel safe when I'm near you. Despite my being like this, I think I'm the worst category of guys. You're the worst, huh? Yeah, I am, no matter how you think about it. Then I guess... I'm the only girl who could like you, the worst guy. That makes me really happy. I don't have to worry about you getting stolen by other girls. You really do have a bad taste in men. Don't say the same thing as Iki. What? Now I'm curious, what did Iki say? He said you look well-mannered, but you're difficult to deal with. He said I'd have a hard time. Yeah, he's right, but I think that goes for the both of us. Are you talking about Iki? No, you. You really are difficult. I try so hard to hold on to you, but you never stay put in my hands. Really? Yes, really. Even now, I'm on edge just thinking that you might leap away from me any time. But I'd come back. Hmm? I don't intend to leave you. I wouldn't do that. But even if I did, I'd always return to you, Toma. I'd want to be close to you and feel your arms around me. Ch Shiori. So don't worry. Idiot, if you say that, it'll make it harder for me to not worry. Why? You're so cute, it makes me worry. Ah, oh, you really do give me a hard time, and you might regret choosing me. But still... I don't want to let you go. I don't want to give you up to anyone else. I'm sorry, Shiori. Please just keep apologizing. Because I did such a terrible thing to you recently, let me apologize at least. It wasn't a terrible thing at all, Toma. I'm fine. Ah, uh, now you're going a little far, Shiori, honey. It was a little boring, but I felt like someone was there with me. Who? Huh? Who was it? Someone was always there with me and always encouraged me. Was it just a dream? It would be strange if it wasn't, I guess. Is that someone you imagined because it was hard being inside all the time? If so, I might really die of guilt. No, I don't think so. And I really mean it when I say it wasn't that bad. Besides... You said I was confined, but the cage was broken. That's what I wanted to ask. How did you get out? What was broken? I won't tell you. Come on, tell me. Well, maybe if... If what? I'll tell you if you give me a hug. I'm being serious. Um, you don't want to? He did. You're naive if you, you think I'll just end it with a hug now. Toma. I'm not going to hold back for the all the time I've been enduring this. You'd better be prepared. Yeah, I am. I love you. I always have and always will.
Alright, memories of Toma have been unlocked. Oh, come on. Right. That's great. Dude, that was Thomas Rude. I'll find a pretty background picture. Movies. Oh, it's just the opening and ending. Boring enough. Anyways. A uh, gallery. Just want to find real quick something to... Oh no, don't spoil. Toma. Let's find one of the nicer pictures. Uh... Alright. That was quite Something. Okay, I get. I feel weirded out looking at Thomas' uh, baby face. You know what? I'll just go back to the main menu. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, that was Thomas rude. One thing I want to say is that I didn't get to see any of the other characters really. Actually, almost none. There was nothing but me and Toma, or, and Orion, and Shiori, but you know what I mean. That means it got, I guess there was more development, in a way, but still, uh, I feel, this is probably not true, but I felt like this route was shorter than the others. I wish, I like, really, really wish, I, they briefly mentioned that Tome was insane, um, I wish he would have gotten some sort of therapy, because even though it was cute and a sweet ending, uh, it's nagging me in the back of my head all the time how I know their relationship will probably not be a healthy one because as soon as she goes oh I'll go over and watch a movie with Shin he'll be this jealous monster and maybe he'll go all into rape mode every time and <laughs> not healthy so I really 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 deeply hope he actually goes to talk to someone not that I think anyone would ever answer that question of mine but you know, please. <laughs> I really want him to, you know, be. I want them to be happy. Anyways, that's a thing. And uh, yeah, I actually just really wanted Toma, and uh, I wanted more characters. I wanted a bit more of Sawa because Sawa is my uh, spirit animal. I love her so much. <laughs> She's my babe, <laughs> if you could say it like that. Um. I guess there is um, not much else to say about this. It was a good route. I liked Shins better. Shins is st still my favorite because it had some mystery elements it, uh, into it as well. But I cannot judge completely because I have not played Ukyo's route. But Shin is my favorite from that. Uh, uh, I guess Toma could come in on the second. I'm not ex entirely sure. I think so. Kent would be third and Icky last. Icky's route kind of ticked me off. It was a bit annoying, but still good, but annoying. All in all, this game was so much better. I'll look at it as a whole right now. was so much better than I could have ever expected from the anime. Like, if you only watch the anime, you will be slightly disappointed. If you play this and then watch the anime, you will be disappointed, but... I 
was really positively surprised at how they, how good this was. The, the the translation really good. I liked it. Um, the game was made up in a pretty interesting way as there was no explaining whatsoever, only dialogue. And and Orion, Orion, oh my god, Orion, like, he was an annoying good-for-nothing person in the show. He was so awful, and I, everybody hated him, I'll be honest, a lot of people did. And every time I saw someone, like, defending him, I just went, no, he's useless. <laughs> I could see what they meant if they meant the game here, because, oh my god, Orion, he was the light in those dark times. Holy shit. And I liked how he could interact with the main character without us actually listening to anything she says or thinks. But, and even though it was a pretty unique idea at how he was, uh, how he was, uh, saying things, reacting for her, um, I would have done without it. I would have liked more personality in the main character, more bite, more backbone. Even though Orion was absolutely adorable. But I, that's just my personal preference. I guess a lot of people want to feel like they are that person, their main character. I wanted to for a very long time before I actually changed my mind and thought I would rather have a story. Not that that's not a story, but I would rather see it as a story, as a main character with their own personality. Someone you can relate to, but not someone you want to be. That's why at some point I just start, you know, seeing myself as a floating Orion beside every Atomic main character. <laughs> I guess it represented me pretty good, and I'm glad it was Orion that did that because he's great. Oh, honey, he's great. Anyways, what more can I say? Art style is gorgeous, on point, beautiful. I like the backgrounds. First, I was a little mad, and they just really go easy, but I actually think they had a point with it. And I like the way it changed colors from day to evening and stuff like that. I liked it a lot. And just the sprite art. <sighs> I've never seen anything so gorgeous, to be honest. It was so pretty. <laughs> it was so pretty. And the CGs as well. They did not cut down on uh, expenses for that. Like, I've seen some games like The Royal Trap, where the CGs are just so... I don't see love in them at all. I'm sorry. That's a pretty A-OK -okay game, but I don't see the love in those sprites at all. They seem so rushed and bad, some of them. But really, the love was put into this. A lot of love, even. So yeah, that's a thing. Music's fitting. Not a track that stuck out and made me, like, really feel things that some games have done. Like, the Dandelion main track theme and stuff like that. But... It was good, and it gave the scenes emotion when it wanted to. Have I mentioned everything? I guess. I guess I have. Anyways, this game is really worth buying if you ask me. I don't think it's that expensive for all that you get. Um, I really recommend you buy it actually, because I feel like this is one of the games that you cannot get a picture of before playing all endings. Like Area X, say. If you haven't played all the characters and things, and uh, you wouldn't uh, understand the full truth of the story, get every re detail that puts it in, fit, completes the puzzle, and makes everything look beautiful. <laughs> That's just me, maybe. Anyhow, I am gonna. It is 30 minutes minutes past 12. It is way too late, and I'm probably gonna play more. <laughs> by myself, because that's the kind of person I am. But anyways, I do hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you guys next time in whatever I make.
probably Dragon Age. There's another game that has finally been released uh, for people to play that I might do. Maybe? I'm not sure yet. And... I'll be on the lookout for our games. As always, do, please do suggest things in the description so I don't have to go look <laughs> for games because you know what happens and I'll stumble across something bad maybe one day and it will be horrible. So, <laughs> let's not do that. Or if there won't be any suggestions and I don't find anything interesting and new, I will have to backtrack to some of the requests that people have made in the past. Perhaps. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed Amnesia, and I will see you guys later. Thank you for 1000 subs again! I love you guys! You are my saviors and my lovelies, and uh, you're perfect in a, not a perfect Toma way, if you can, or perfect Tay way, if you can get what I'm saying. You're not Yandere freaks, you're lovely, I love you. <laughs> okay, and I will see you. Bye.